Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon and Rising. Very quick update before we get on with your reading Sagittarius. I want to let you guys know that we are currently having merch. Uh, so you can find that on the description box below. You'll be able to find the link on there. Uh, you guys can purchase backdrops, uh, hoodies, coffee mugs, um, t-shirts and muscle shirts for this crazy ass hot weather <laughs> that we're currently going through at least in california but um yeah definitely you check that out and on to your reading as you guys can see we have all the cards here pulled out already for time purposes so let's jump right into your reading sagittarius for the month of august 2018. now for the communication sector with the element of air you have the seven of swords so with the seven of swords there's a feeling of sneakiness there is a feeling of uh perhaps you're very not really communicating so much and it probably has to do with feeling like people have double intentions towards you um or they're you know they have they're portraying a certain way to you um, but it almost feels as if they're just pretending to be that way um, so there is this element of sneakiness and almost a fear of betrayal uh, in regards to your communication. This could have arisen from something that uh, happened in the past weeks or in the month previously. Um, I feel that this is more mental for you, Sagittarius, so try the best you can to get out of that state of mind. Um, it's okay to protect ourselves and protect our energy, but don't very quick, don't be very quick to judge people. Uh, because their intentions could be the greatest of intentions and instead of you you know taking advice or being open to guidance what you're doing is you're blocking yourself and blocking your blessings uh, by pushing them away uh, to the point where people kind of leave you alone I feel that for the month of August there is this element of feeling alone or feeling mis like misunderstood but it has a lot to do with past patterns or past behaviors from the past. Uh, again, it could have been that you were very guarded and you slowly but surely started pushing people away. Now, in regards to your finances, you do have the Three of Cups. So the Three of Cups um, and then the challenge is the Queen of Cups here. I mean, sorry, the Queen of Pentacles. I feel that for some of you guys, um, and this could have to do more between the, the ranges of people that could be like younger but it can also represent, you know, you could be 35 or 40 and it doesn't necessarily mean that you're mature. So I feel that this is more to do with like, for those of you guys that currently are single or that currently, currently started to stabilize yourself or find a little bit more stability, be wise in your decisions in regards to spending money. Uh, because the three of cups could represent feeling bountiful and feeling like oh this is always going to be this way so you start spending drastically and and not really not really saving for a rainy day uh, for some of you guys this could be uh, for those of you guys that have been married and currently go th gone through a divorce it could represent that there is this feeling of betrayal or this feeling of hurt because you're struggling at the moment and it's almost a feeling like you know your partner doesn't care or they're living it up and enjoying um so there's this resentment that's a tie to that nonetheless again be practical sagittarius for the month of august with the queen of pentacles here as an obstacle this is definitely talking about you need to be grounded you need to see things very clearly and be smart about decisions in regards to your finances again if you are for the month of August, I want to say the first two to three weeks of August, if there is a shift in change in regards to your finances, be smart about it. If there's opportunities or, you know, stability starts to come in and come through for you for the month of August, be smart about that. Whatever it is that you have, put it on reserve, save money. Um, don't be immature in regards to spending or overindulging in things that, again, like I said, down maybe the month after that there may be a little bit of a struggle and you can always have that money to fall back on so again be smart about your finances um, the queen of pentacles as a challenge could represent 
um, not really seeing things on a practical aspect or it could represent like holding on and clinging on to some type of feeling where you're not able to see things clear because you're so connected to the grudge that you're holding towards a person or it could be that you're just vibrating to this very I don't want to say negative because negative I feel that that's something that we consciously do but I, I almost like if people have done you wrong in the past yes it was hurtful and yes you had to go through that difficulty but take it as something that taught you something take that lesson and make it positive make it positive in the sense of it gave you wisdom it gave you understanding it gave you maturity take it for what it is and let go of that resentment let go of that anger that you're holding because the only one that you're blocking is yourself it's for example if you see for those of you guys that have been separated or that recently broke up with a partner because of betrayal or because of cheating you hating them and holding on to that anger is not going to keep them from living their life it's not going to keep them from going toward to the next male or to the next female it's not going to keep them from stopping and saying oh i made you know my ex so miserable like they don't care life goes on so don't hold on to that anger let go of that and free yourself from mental slavery uh, this is something that i feel has been very very prominent for you guys all through the year and i feel that there's a lot of healing happening with you guys uh but again you know try the best and it's really easy for people to say you know oh it's easy for you to say to let go when you haven't gone through whatever difficulties i've gone through take this from a person that is a spiritual person um spiritual people usually tend to be people that are extremely tested in many different aspects so again take those lessons and learn from them and continue on about your life you sitting there being hurt you know having anger and hating your ex-partner or your ex-husband or your ex-wife or whatever it, it's not going to keep them from living their life so you need to let go of that and start living your life now, in regards to your love and romance, you do have the moon card here. So for some of you guys, you may be dealing with a cancer energy. Uh, with For others, it could just represent a water sign, which would be a cancer, uh, a Pisces or Scorpio. And again, the moon card is very murky water. And with the seven of swords here, I feel that if, if you're in a position where you're trying to work through a relationship and your partner has a history of cheating on you or lying to you and you feel that they're slowly drifting you away from friends from family members from you know people that love and care for you um and there's this feeling like almost like they're slowly pushing you away from all of that to the point of just being you and your partner um this is not good type of energy this is very heavy energy and it's it's almost as if they're doing it purposely because they know that by pulling you away from people that love you and care for you that means they're you're they're not gonna know what's going on in your relationship so whenever you get to a point where you're wanting to walk away from the relationship it becomes more difficult for you to make that choice because you have no one else to fall on you have no one else to be there for you so be smart about that Sagittarius and see through that type of bullshit now in regards to your spirits advice you have the judgment card here and the judgment card is a representation of karma it's a representation of the judgment has been done and there is a lot of things that we're going to have to deal with and karma is going to come knocking in the door whether it's good karma or whether it's bad karma everything that has been sent out everything that has been done um whether this is you know you going out of your way to hurt people or whether it's um being at the crossfire again like that scenario i gave of feeling like your partner's like slowly drifting you away from people and you've not purposely hurt them but you've hurt them because of situations or circumstances know and understand that karma will and is real and 
And when you start to see a lot of blockages in your life, do not sit there and question why this is happening. It's happening based off of past actions. It's happening based off of past decisions. Wake up, Sagittarius. It's time for you guys to grab the bull by its horns, see things on a clear perspective, make choices and pull away or push the fuck away people that are not good for you, that don't have good intentions for you, that are not, don't be mad at a person, at a friend that's trying to give you advice in regards to substance abuse, that is telling you, I love you and I want you to stop doing this. If you want, you know, I can take you to, um, I can take you to rehab. I can take you to whatever it is. Uh, or a friend telling you, get out of that toxic relationship. Um, don't be mad at them. Don't be mad at them because they're, they're doing this out of love. They're giving you tough love. And sometimes, you know, they can actually be the reason of why you continuously keep going back to that toxic type of relationship. And it could be because they always show you and prove to you that they're there for you. So sometimes people need to step back and let you, you know, swim those waters. If you want to, you know, get completely to the point of almost solitude is what I'm hearing. And, and that's not good. If friends are coming to you and they're telling you, you know, Sagittarius, let's go out, let's let's hang out. You're, you're becoming a little bit antisocial. We don't really see you around. Uh, you're always moody, whatever it is. Don't let people put your fire out. And what I mean by that is if they're giving you that advice, know and understand that it's coming from a loving place because they love you, because they care for you. Don't let relationships, partners, friends, you know, don't let them put that fire out in you. You are naturally curious by nature. You are spontaneous by nature. You are happy by nature. Do not allow other people to dim that light. Keep fighting, Sagittarius. Keep fighting, putting that effort and seeing things from a clear perspective and more than clear perspective, take ownership of the decisions you've made, whether they were good or whether they were bad in the past, but take ownership of it. Stop blaming other people or stop blaming your ex or stop blaming your parents or stop, just stop. Take ownership. Don't be a victim. Claim your authority, claim your power now and see how quickly life starts to change for you. I hope you guys connect it to this reading because it's very powerful. I am very inspired by this reading. I love you guys. Know that you are loved. Know that there is people out there that genuinely have your best interest at heart and keep fighting that fight. Light and love to all of you guys and we'll talk soon. Bye.